I've always been someone that says if a movie's fun, it's fun. But honestly, this movie was fun. But it it just feels kind of pointless. Like it's basically because Ryan Reynolds wanted to bring back Wolverine, and that's what it feels like, and that's it. Like there's a lot of plot holes, dumb stuff to make. Sure, Deadpool can get what he wants. Like, oh, yeah, the machine has to be, like, charged or some shit. Like, 72 hours before he can get it working. Because in reality, he could just kill the universe when Deadpool left. But they have to have this plot device, so he can't. Um, this Wolverine's a completely different Wolverine. But they decide to still... Butcher the ending for Logan. It didn't really offend me or anything like it did a lot of people, but if you're just gonna do a different Wolverine, why have that opening scene, you know? I guess it makes sense because now Deadpool knows that the original Logan actually is dead and, you know, not faking it or something because apparently this Deadpool thinks he's dead, even though, like, the whole big thing about Deadpool is he can break the fourth wall or something you know so he should know that Logan is actually dead and that was the ending to his story especially since like I'm pretty sure they made fun of it in Deadpool 2 but I didn't really like Deadpool 2 um a lot of cameos we got Pyro who I personally loved in X-Men 2 and he had his moments in X-Men 3 brief cameo in the first movie but it was a different actor um we got Electra back who her movie was decent really wasn't the greatest though um Blade and they have him say a slur it's the only slur in the movie and it's just really pointless Deadpool says retired so Blade says the Arsler, and then Deadpool makes a joke about cancel culture, and then they move on. It's just so stupid and forced. Um, we get Shannon Tatum as Gambit, which was... Um, I didn't even know he was the one that was supposed to be Bandit. I knew that there was a Gambit movie that got scrapped a long time ago. But I didn't know it was Shannon Tatum who was supposed to play it. Um, he looked really good in the outfit. He, he did pretty good. Um, I would say better than the one from X-Men Origins. Just because he was more of a punching bag. Um, but, you know, they're both good in their own ways. X-2-3's here. She really doesn't do anything. I mean, she kills Juggernaut. We have a, a bunch of different variants. Like, we got a different girl playing... Psylocke, but she doesn't really have any lines. We got another person who plays Bullseye, um, but he doesn't have any lines. He's black, which is pretty cool since, you know, in the Daredevil universe, Kingpin is black. So seeing a variant of Bullseye, but black was honestly pretty cool. Wish they would have done more with him. Um, I don't even remember seeing him die. But then again, a lot of the action in this movie is pretty fast paced. I would have loved if they would have recurated the iconic daredevil comic shot with you know electra getting stabbed through the chest by bullseye since we got that in the daredevil movie i would have loved if we would have seen electra do that to bullseye not have some corny joke after like oh this is how it feels or something just being able to see that as an electra fan because i've always liked electra I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion or not. I like her in the comics. I thought her movie was decent, not the greatest. I liked her in the Daredevil movie. I've always been a fan of Elektra. I I think she was one of the first people I tried to unlock in this Lego Marvel superheroes. I've always liked Elektra. Uh, so I, I wish we got more of her. Glad to see her back, though. Um, they make a joke about how Daredevil's dead and she doesn't give a fuck. Which, you know pretty cool since her husband's a piece of shit um ex-husband i should say ben affleck um we get johnny storm as human torch he doesn't do that much they make a joke about the budget 
you know, a, a lot of unfunny fourth wall breaking jokes in this movie, to be honest. I liked the fourth wall breaking way better in the first Deadpool movie and in She-Hulk, which a lot of people hate for some reason. Um, it, it is just, uh, fourth wall breaking was a, a lot in this movie too. We also get Tyler Maine back as Sabretooth, but he gets killed immediately. Wish he would have got a little bit more and a longer fight. But it's really just a callback to the X-Men Origins where Wolverine says he's going to cut his head off. Um, and that's what he does in this movie. We get Toad, he gets killed by Blade. There's just a lot of characters. Some of them you might even miss. I might have missed someone watching the movie because there's just so many. We get the original Juggernaut from X-Men 3, you know. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> He's here. He gets killed by X-23. I already mentioned that. But really, the plot isn't that much. Deadpool wants to save his friends or something. Because the guys are going to end his universe. Even though in Loki, they don't do that anymore. And they explain in this movie that they don't do that anymore. But he wants to break the rules. Or whatever. Because he thinks it's pointless to watch the universe slowly die for a thousand years. Or whatever. It's just so bland. They also, even though this Wolverine's a variant, so they could have no trouble killing him off because there's infinite Wolverines, right? They don't kill him off. Like, it's not that I wanted him killed off, but they have this scene where they're like, oh yeah, if one of you do this, you're going to die. There, there's no coming back, even with your regeneration. So Wolverine tries to do it, but then Deadpool decides to do it instead, and they do this long, unfunny scene of him, like, stalling or whatever. I, I didn't really care for it. Deadpool's humor is either hit and miss in this series. I, I thought he was pretty good in the first movie. But then after that, they just... The, the, it's just not as good, like... They make another potty joke in this movie because in the second movie he pissed himself and now in this movie he shit himself. Like, I, I don't find that funny. Um, Cassandra Nova was a really cool villain. Wish we would have got to see more of her. Her death was kind of dumb in my opinion. Um, some people complain that she's like evil or whatever, but like, I miss when supervillains were just evil to be evil. Like, they, they clearly described that from even before birth, she tried to kill her own brother in the womb. But some people were complaining about her switching her mind, like, changing her mind, I mean. Like, she was going to spare Deadpool and Wolverine because they saved her life or whatever from Pyro. But when she finds out she can destroy all the worlds and control the void and have everybody in the entire world worship her and no other earth exist like it's just the void nothing else people are surprised that she would want that this bitch is crazy i loved cassandra nova but yeah back to the whole thing you know deadpool and wolverine do the thing together so they don't die like he could have just killed this wolverine off since He's just a variant. We've already seen that there's multiple different versions of Hugh Jackman. Even um, Henry Cavill plays a version of Wolverine. So don't know why they couldn't have killed this one off. And he gets shirtless. Um, but Deadpool does not, even though they're doing the same thing. Don't know why that happened. Like, I guess they didn't want to show us Deadpool's cancer scarred chest or something. Like, why wasn't Deadpool shirtless, too? Like, they were both feel, feeling the energy or whatever. We get a scene where they kill all the Deadpools, but so surprise, surprise, they all regenerate. Like, we, I, I think we as the audience were supposed to be surprised, but I was not. Just because Nicepool didn't regenerate doesn't make me think that all the Deadpools don't regenerate. Um... Honestly, it's it's a fun movie. We get some dramatic moments. We get some really cool fight scenes. 
but this movie may mostly feels like it's just like, oh, hey, you remember that character that was in this movie a long time ago? Well, they're back, reprising their role. Um, I didn't really care for Pyro that much in this movie. I did like that he beat Human Torch. A lot of people think that's stupid, but his whole power is being able to man manipulate fire. He can't create it himself. He can't make it come out of his hands. But if there's a fire, he can use it. If there's somebody's campfire, he can take that fire and use it as his power. Human Torch is created out of fucking fire. Of course he's gonna win. Unless Human Torch gets to jump on him and burns him alive. He's he's winning. He's He can manipulate fire. Human Torch is created out of fire. It's the same thing like with Magneto versus Wolverine, where Magneto is almost always going to win. Because he controls metal, and Wolverine has metal in his body. So, of course, you know, Pyro just takes Human Torch's fire away and makes him, um, you know, crash. But, of course, they also have to have a kind of a dumb joke here, too, where he lands on his nuts. Couldn't have just had him crash down. Um... It's a, it's a pretty fun movie, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd watch it again. I watched it in theaters with my friend. It's it's a fun movie, but I, I just felt kind of rushed. And it just felt mostly for nostalgia factor, which nothing wrong with that. Um, though I did recently find out that... um. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds got married on a plantation, which is just yuck. So, I won't be watching anything else Ryan Reynolds related, most likely. Um, and also, Blake Lively got mad at an interviewer for, like, no reason and really hurt her feelings. I think she's got some anger issues she needs to check out. Um, but, you know... It's, it's it's a fun movie if you want to see a lot of your um, favorite actors come back, like Blade and Hugh Jackman. Um, you're going to have fun with this. I personally had a lot of fun seeing, you know, people like Elektra and Sabretooth and Toad, Bullseye, Pyro. But I know that's probably not what most people were looking forward to. But, you know, I really like Sabretooth in the first X-Men movie. He was good in X-Men Origins, too. I like that they brought Taylor Mayne back. I don't know why they couldn't have done both of them. It's not like they didn't show multiple Wolverines or anything. But I guess that would have been too confusing. Or they just couldn't afford it. But, yeah, that's Deadpool and Wolverine for you. <laughs>